वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू वन अदर वीडियो एंड इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई डिलीटेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फोल्डर फ्रॉम द विंडो सेवन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विच वॉज द सिस्टम थर्टी टू फोल्डर नाउ दिस वॉज अ मीम दैट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड आई ट्राइड इट आउट एंड इट वॉज इन दैट स्पेक्टैक्यूलर इट वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ बोरिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग सम ब्लू स्क्रीन ऑफ दैट एंड सम थिंग्स लाइक दैट दैट डेंट हैपन सो uh today i'm back and i'm going to do a similar thing but on linux uh i'll be running ubuntu 14 open to 16.04 on my virtual machine and instead of deleting a specific folder because i can i will delete uh the root directory so the way linux works is everything is under a single root directory whether it be another hard drive that has been mounted or anything else there is a single root directory that contains everything so what we are going to do is we'll run a command called rm-rf we'll get into the detail what that means and uh, we'll run it at root and we will see uh, the system gradually fail uh and uh, let's see how that works so for i have my uh, virtual machine up and running i'll just open it up now i have uh, the root directory opened up so that's just the main hard drive of your system now there are a few files that are the few a few folders that i am expecting that will not be deleted a uh, first one being dev the other one being uh, proc and run and sys so these four uh, folders are mostly controlled by the kernel itself uh, and not even the root user has permission to change the contents of uh, files inside this folder or uh, delete them so uh, i think what we'll going uh, we what we are going to do is first of all we need to create a create kind of an access to our root user because uh, ubuntu doesn't by default give us that uh, so to do that what we'll do is sudo root and p a s s w d so this will create a password so this will create a password for our root user and that that way we don't have to rely on sudo to do a lot of stuff so uh, let's switch user to our root user and now we are using our root user so uh what i'll do is i leave the terminal here i leave the folder somewhere here where it's visible uh All right, so uh, time of truth. Let's go ahead and run our command. So R M would be the remove command. R means recursive or remove folders. Uh, it could mean both the things. Force is force remove, uh, irrespective of the permissions of the file. Just remove it, and then uh, no preserve. root so that means that even if it is a important file so this command will allow us to delete as many files as we can so in 3 2 one nothing is happening so far our background is gone apps are starting to just randomly go uh again you can see a lot of you know per not permission or permission denied uh, as i said these are all proc files i think we have completed with the delete uh, operation and as you can see uh, almost nothing is left all the uh, folder icons are gone i think i can uh, go into proc and see what files are there but uh, if i go back then again we don't have only the four folders are left as i was saying uh we have the dev folder and we have the proc folder we have the run folder and we have the sys folder now interestingly enough even in the dev folder only four of uh, files or folders are there and uh, i think four folders are there uh and that's about it so even if i run some new command it would just say command not found something like cd uh you know it would say no such root or directory but cd is actually loaded uh, and reused recently so cd would be uh, in the um, memory mkdir command not found again an internal and 
uh, ever so present command not found because we ended up di deleting the user uh, slash bin directory and what else so as, as you can see it didn't fail the os didn't completely crash or freak out i mean it did freak out but it's not like it's not it's it doesn't it didn't hang uh, and you can pretty much try to do a few more things the sidebar is completely gone now uh, but you can see i can still access some stuff a uh, new terminal should give us nothing and uh, what else what else can we see okay so cat is cat working cat is not found um echo echo would work in again in internal command uh g edit should also not be there so this is what happens when you end up um deleting the root directory of uh, your linux based operating system and uh, so another thing is that the texts are also gone so uh, at the top where uh, we have our menu bar you can see for each of the menu items the fonts are not there just for filled with boxes uh, and kind of meaningless uh, apart from that nothing is working uh, again i'm just trying very basic linux commands that should work uh, on any given operating system and they are not so this was it about you know um deleting the root directory of a linux uh, operating system and that's why they say that it gracefully degrades instead of just switching off so um yeah again if you by any chance foolishly enough end up running this on your main system it's not going to delete everything it's not physically going to delete everything this just breaks the link so if you have a data recovery program you can nearly recover everything uh, not the whole operating system of course but important files yes you can recover um, so what i am going to do is reboot this os and we'll see if it actually boots up because I am unable to see any boot folder here. So I'm guessing it won't. But uh, of course, the reboot command should not work and it isn't. I'll just go ahead and do a hard reboot uh, on the VM. And we should get a grub error and there it is. So it wasn't able to find the grub file and it cannot run and that's about it the operating system has been destroyed but it didn't just shut down so it was a bit more interesting to see it slowly degrade and as i said it is pretty similar to what happens if you just pull the hard drive out uh, while the system it's running it's exactly the same way it has reacted uh, so yes it was a nice experiment and please like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you didn't like it and uh, leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one